Jay spotted something in the water. I'm not gonna tell you what it is until she gets it. Can she do it? What's up everybody, it's Cole and Jay, and guess what? We have officially been on YouTube for one year. Heck, Heck yeah. yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and after being on YouTube for one whole year, Jay and I have just hit the 40,000 subscriber mark, and that is crazy. And we just wanna say big thank you to every one of you guys that have decided to come and tag along with us on all these adventures. We love interacting with all of y'all, and we love entertaining you guys, and it's just what fuels us on this channel makes us wanna make videos, you know, as, as many videos as we can throughout the week. And to celebrate being on YouTube for one year and for achieving the 40,000 subscriber mark, we've decided to come back to the site that started everything for us. We're at a site here in central Arkansas. We got this creek. It's back over this way on the other side of the woods. And this is the location where we actually made our very first YouTube video. And we haven't been here since we filmed that video. Yeah, so we're hoping we can go walk that same stretch of creek and hopefully uncover some really interesting and fascinating creatures for you guys. Now, the first video we made, we hate watching that old video. It is so it's cringy. It's so cringy. <laughs> oh my gosh. We want to go down there and try to make a better video in the same location for you guys to enjoy. So let's walk over there to the creek. Let's hop in it and see what interesting creatures we can find. Okay guys, we made it down to the creek and it's beautiful. We got all this really nice vegetation. The water is clear. A bunch of little fish swimming around. And uh, another thing that I'm really liking is that it's shaded. It's pretty hot out here. Mm -hmm. And this stretch of the creek's got a lot of trees. And hopefully these trees will be harboring a few little hidey spots that uh, these snakes can, you know, try to conceal themselves in. And hopefully we'll find them. I really didn't find that many last time. <gasps> Ain't no bullfrog. Sure is. Yeah. Okay, we found our first creature. No, he's alive. Go for it, Jay. Oh. What was he doing? I don't know. Well, we herped. Get him, Jay. Get him, Jay. Get him, Jay. Get him. Get him. You got him? I got him. You got him? I got him. All right, we got our first catch of the day. Look at that. It's a <laughs> little- a little bullfrog. A little tiny bullfrog. I don't know what he was doing. We just walked up and he was underwater looking yeah. like he was dead. He was just chilling. He's so cute. He is cute. He scared me too. He jumped out those rocks. Whoa. <laughs> Good looking frog. Good job, Jay. We haven't awesome gone anywhere. Line. Yeah, we've only moved like 20 yards and already got a- Got a nice bullfrog. Sweet. Really cool, really cute. Look at yeah. it. Yeah. It's actually a female, I think. It's got a really small ear. But anyways, we're gonna let her go and go on ahead and get down the creek a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Not really gonna kiss it, but okay. To jump. <laughs> See ya. Jay spotted something in the water. I'm not gonna tell you what it is until she gets it. Can she do it? Ugh. Got it? We got a nice reader slider. Wow, that's a big one. Woo, look wow. at his back. Wow, that is crazy. Look at that shell formation. Oh my Holy gosh. smokes. Y'all see that big old knob right there? I wonder why. That's incredible. What? I wonder if he like had an injury as a younger turtle and then that's sort of calcified in that shape or something. I don't know. Holy smokes. Good job, Jay. Hold him up a little bit. So at this angle, you guys can check out that weird formation that we're talking about. Look at that on the left side of his shell. That's so crazy looking. Wow, that is really cool. Really cool turtle. Beautiful, beautiful turtle. It looks like a really old turtle. We're probably living out here his whole life. And is this a male or a female? It's a female. See, we know it's a female because it has a short claws. If it was a male, it has some really long, freaky claws. And if you flip her over, you'll notice that her plastron it's a little bit more convex. Wow, so we're just now noticing that it's missing an eye too. Poor turtle. Missing its left eye. Got a good right eye though. <laughs> All beat up. And you see it's got a little red ear. It's not really an ear, but that red little spot right behind their eye. That's where they get the name Raider Slider from. Just a super cool turtle. All right, we're gonna let her go and hopefully this is the first of many cool turtles that we find today. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, Jay, I just spotted another sneaky turtle. See that log? It's right there underneath the log. It looks like another rated slider, but we don't know, and we won't know until we get around there and get it. I'm gonna go underneath the log right here. Let's see what we got. Oh, I think it's a different species. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Woo! I got gotcha. you. Woo! Look at there. That is not a reddered slider. That is a completely new species for the day. Check it out, Jay. Check it out, guys. We got our second species of aquatic turtle today. This is an Eastern River Cooter. The scientific name of the species is Pseudomys consina, and they belong to the same family as reddered slider, which is Imida today. And uh, the way we know this is an Eastern River Cooter is it's got these beautiful little yellow lines going up the side of his head. And um, he doesn't like, he likes the red ear area like the reddered slider. And um, if you flip him over and look at his plastron, check out the plastron scutes, okay? So I didn't really show you on the previous turtle, but the red eared slider has these black marks on these plastron scutes, and this one lacks those little black circles on the scutes. And so you can be referring to him as a male, as a him, and that's because it is, in fact, a male individual. Because as I mentioned on the red eared slider, she had really, really small little toenails, but those are some really long toenails, and that is how we know this individual is a male. And this dude's been hanging out in the mud, as you can tell from his carapace up here, the top of his shell is just covered in mud, and he's got a normal looking shell. So, he's a really cool turtle, and uh, we're gonna put him back in the creek right here, right here where he was, kind of in this little, little mud hole, and we're gonna continue upwards and uh, see what else we can find. Jay, you see what I see? I do. Got another turtle friend. You can see that one really good. Yeah. Look at that. It's another beautiful red eared slider. Stunning. Super gorgeous. Look at those beautiful little red marks on the side of their head. Beautiful yellow stripes. Now flip her over. Let's show the black spots in the plaster I mentioned about. See those little black spots, those black markings right there? That helps indicate that this is a red eared slider. And it's another female. Look at that little short mm -hmm. claws. Super cute. Good job, Jay. Good find. Okay, put you back in the water. And we'll see ya. Oh, she's oh, coming to me. Going. Oh, ran into my foot. <laughs> ran into my foot. All right, so we have found a bullfrog, two red sliders, and an eastern river cooter so far. But where are the snakes? Where are the snakes at? It's okay, crazy. it's kind of the middle of the day. You know, you would think that you would see some basking out on some tree branches or up on the bank, but we just haven't seen any yet. So we're gonna go this way a little bit further. And if we don't come across any this way, we're gonna go back the other way and see if we can uncover a couple of snakes for you guys. Cause we know that's what you guys wanna see. You wanna see us catch some really cool snakes. So let's try to find one and we'll see you whenever we do. So we have walked and walked and walked up this creek and we have not found any more turtles and we have still not found a single snake. So I think that we are gonna go back the other way and hopefully we can find some sneaky snakes. Cause we are getting bit by mosquitoes out here right now. <laughs> Got a snake spotted, guys. Snake spotted. Got him. Got him. And that right there is a head grab right there. Heck yeah. We were just about to abandon this creek. We finally got our first snake of the trip, guys. We started walking back upstream from where we were at, and we actually made it back to the bridge where we started our adventure, and we found this beautiful plain bellied water snakes swimming around this little bit deep water. There's a bunch of bluegill and uh, long eared sunfish down here swimming in this creek. And I think that he was probably hunting them, but check it out. He's blind in his right eye. Can you see that, Jay? Yeah. Aww. He's blind in his right eye and he was oblivious to me whenever I snuck up on him and grabbed him out of the water. So in case you guys don't know, they get the name plain bellied water snake from the very uniform coloration on the ventral side of their stomach here. It can be a really bright yellow or this kind of, what color is it right now? <laughs> it's a very creamy mm -hmm. kind of buttery color right now. They can be a really bright and vibrant yellow color, which is really cool. They have a little bit of coloration on their back, but it's not, it's not very much. It's pretty much just a uniform olive, kind of a grayish color on top. 
But again, this is a non-venomous species of snake. And look at your hand. It's look at my hand. Yeah, so I got bit <laughs> just barely right there. So they have a they have an anticoagulant in their saliva which causes, you know, causes you to bleed a little bit. And that aids whenever they're whenever they're slurping down a fish, it helps them get that fish down or it helps the animal that they're biting like bleed out, I think. But anyways, it's a really cool snake. The bite didn't hurt me at all, but that's crazy. That's like probably one tooth. Yeah. Gushing. <laughs> anyways, we're going to put the snake back in the creek and we are going to continue back upstream to that other area where we're hoping to maybe find a couple of larger species of snake. So let's get this guy back in the water. See ya. See you later. All right, we spotted another snake, guys. Jay's going in for the grab. It's a little guy. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. snake of the day it's another beautiful plain belly and oh my gosh did y'all see me chasing him? i did you were all over the place but <laughs> it is like super slick right there yeah. and i'm not falling in today and the water is crystal clear and you yeah. kept your eye on him and you were able to finally corral him oh, oh wow what a strike it's got quite an attitude all these water snakes are just they just have the worst attitudes yeah. but plain belly, I love is probably, it. plain belly is probably the worst one of all of them I think Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks? <laughs> <laughs> and he, he tagged Jay a little bit on the back of the wrist yeah. to see that. Not too bad. Not as bad as yours. No, I almost bled out. <laughs> I never been, I have never bled that much from a little snake bite. That's an awesome snake. And catch. he's got both eyes. You got both eyes? Okay, we're improving. He's a little bit smaller well, than nice when working. I caught though. Yeah. A little smaller than when I caught Jay. That's okay. We're gonna turn back around and go up this way a little bit further. And it looks really snaky, so hopefully we'll link up at least one more snake. What do you say, Jay? Yeah. One more snake? We need one more. That'd be really cool. Okay, maybe a new bag? species. Yeah, maybe a new species. All right, buddy. You can go in the grass now. Don't turn around and tag me. Ready? Yep. <laughs> I didn't even see him go. It went between my legs. <laughs> <laughs> awesome job, Jay. Way to catch that snake. <laughs> Now, if this right here don't look snaky, I don't know what snaky looks like, guys. I mean, we'll look at all these little places for a snake to hide. There's bait fish everywhere. There's bugs everywhere. And I'm just expecting a big old snake to pop out at any moment. Got lots of big rocks for him to bask on. Just gotta keep my cool about me. And watch where I'm stepping, make sure I don't step on anything toxic. <laughs> You know, I bet there's a snake underneath this tunnel here. At the other end of it. Bet you're too scared to go in there. No, I ain't, I ain't scared of nothing. What'd you see? Couldn't see anything. It was dark. <laughs> ain't that the worst? Okay, we're gonna go up a little further this way, and if we don't find anything, we're gonna turn around and head back home. Because we have traveled a lot of creek and we've only seen two snakes. I don't know what's up with that. Well, we have walked all this way and we have only found two snakes. That is just crazy. We've literally walked all the way to Chick-fil-A. And that is so far away from where we started. And we've walked all the way down here and now Cole's not letting me go to Chick-fil-A. Mm -mm. Jay, we got dinner plans, you know that. We do have dinner plans. We're making fajitas. But still, we're, yeah, we are making fajitas at home, but still right there i'm so hungry and it smells so good we got a breeze coming right right to us but jay and i are about to start making our way back to the truck we got a long walk it's not that long it's probably like two miles but whatever we'll walk back to the truck we're gonna head home so we'll see you guys when we get back to the house guys so we've made it back home been home for a little while and jay and i are just worn out from today's adventure at the creek we walked probably five miles 
all together, which isn't that big of a deal, but you know, just traversing through some kind of rugged terrain and through water, it can wear you out. It was also really hot. It was really hot out there. But luckily for us, we were able to catch a couple of cool turtles for you guys, a couple of cool snakes. So that's good. We didn't get skunked on the water today. Yeah. And it was fun to revisit, you know, the site where we made our very first YouTube video. It's crazy to think that we've been on YouTube for a whole year now and that we've had, you know, 40,000 of you guys watching our videos. That's still just really just kind of setting in with us. It's really insane. And we just want to say again a big thank you to all of you who have been watching and supporting our channel for the last year. That really means a lot to us and this channel wouldn't be, you know, as fun as it is without you guys watching. So, big thank you to that. Cole and I have had the best time this year making videos and we hope to be doing this many years down the road. But until next time, guys. We're, we're Cole, Cole and Jay. Jay. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace out.